What? Freaking Mesmer, stop it. Give me silver. I'll take silver. Oh, oh my god, that thing was close. Yeah, see, this is the part where we probably need the propulsion cannon. Would need if we weren't IG mother huh? P. God. Are you kidding me? Or how are you still alive? You, come here. I'm gonna bash you against the- Oh my god, I'm getting swarmed! Holy crap, what am I supposed to do against that kind of power? Oh my god! What is up, people? I'm IGP, and welcome back to Subnautica. Continuing where we left off, we built this beautiful piece of machinery. Let me get out and show you, my babes. Look at this. This here is called the Sea Moth. It's the Moth of the Sea. And uh, we're going to use this to now travel around this sunken planet and uh, hopefully not die. Oh, wow, look at that light. That's bright. Anyway, as I said in the last episode, uh, these videos are pre-recorded, so I do apologize if you guys left me some tips and suggestions in the last episode that I'm not able to follow through in this one because I can't tell the future, nor can I read your comments ahead of time, which is basically the same thing. Regardless, if you're still enjoying the series and you want to see some more, let me know in the comment section below. You can hit the like button too, whatever you want to do. Let's get started. I think my first goal, I'm going to check out this, uh, yeah, this, this thing over here. I'm going to check this out, and then I think we're going to get some resources and head over to the Aurora to fix it because, uh, I mean, maybe, I don't know. We'll see how the episode or where the episode takes us. We're going to head over here for right now. We got unlimited oxygen. Uh, I can get some food pretty much anywhere and we got some water, so we're good to go. Well, hello. Guys, I can move fast. I'm always faster than you, but how does it feel to be, uh, outclassed entirely? Okay, so I can't go past 200 meters. It tells me in the top. In the tip of the top, I can't go past it. Also, I'm sorry about uh, the last two episodes. Uh, we're acting kind of funny. I, I forgot I kind of redid a lot of aspects of my computer, and I deleted some settings in my NVIDIA controller, which uh, caused... I have this weird thing where my monitors are 144 hertz, right? But I set them to 120. Uh, if I V... What was that? See, this is why I should focus on the game, right? All right, all that crap aside, basically, it wasn't a very smooth 60 frames a second. Uh, there were too many frames being sent over to OBS when OBS can only record 60. So there were some that were skipped or dropped, and it looked kind of stuttery. You may not notice it, but I do, and it really upset me. Uh, but I fixed it. So now it should look super smooth. No. Oh, God. Oh, okay. We're almost at the edge. We're almost at the edge. I'm just going over here, dude. You sound like you're over there Warning. off to the... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you sound like you're off to, in the distance, so... Okay. Oh, we gotta save. Ooh, we gotta save. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, 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 we're good. We're good. Oh, it's an ampule. That's cute. Ooh, ooh, it's a freaking... Okay. Uh... Oh, da, 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 da. What are you? Repulsion cannon. Let's go. All right, we have a lot of logs to listen to. Oh, Jesus Christ, that scared me. Come on. You don't have to play the sound. We know. All right. All right, I'm stuck here. Is there anything else around here? Oh, wait. Oh, what? Freaking Mesmer, stop it. Give me silver. I'll take silver. Oh, oh, my God, that thing was close. All right, I'm not I'm not prepared for this. Where's my... Okay. Oh, boy. You know I can't imagine this game in VR. I'd die. I would literally... Literally die. I know that that word is overused, but I would very much die. There's a wreck. I want to get into the wreck. All right, let's do the wreck. There's a data box. Oh my goodness. What is with the random propulsion of enemies in this game, dude? Stay away. Stay away. It's already opened. Dang it. All right, where's my scanner? Okay. All right, I gotta make, I gotta really pay attention. To my oh boy, this is not good. I really got to pay attention. Scanner room I already have. What are you? Nothing. Okay. My oxygen is dropping. Ooh, it's dropping really low. But we got an exterior grow bed. That is good. We can grow our own kelp. I should start building a base. That should be something at some point. Okay, it looks like that's it outside of here. So ooh, we got another message. All right. Well, I got to get back into my seamith for some oxygenous. Okay, so at a certain point inside of this, we will start losing oxygen crazy fast. So let's be quick, huh? Floodlight we already got. Uh, holy crap. Hello? What are you? Swivel chair. Okay. I guess that's important. <laughs> Integrating new PDA data. Oh, wait, never mind. That was... <laughs> 
That was the wrong thing. Uh, okay, that's closed off. No, that's fine. We're gonna be fine. We still got about probably 40 seconds left. Stasis rifle. Let's go, dude. We need all these things. Hurry up. Hurry up. One out of two. That's it. <gasps> Stasis rifle. Yes. We have all the cool things, man. Interior grow bed, too. This is crazy. Modification. Oh, no. I'm gonna die, though. I'm gonna die. More than likely. Oh, data box. What is it? Reinforced dive suit. Let's go, dude. Okay. Uh, now I'm really going to die. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. How do I get out? Oh no. Where's the exit? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Where's the freaking exit? Where did that come from? I'm dead. It's over. It's over, dude. Are you kidding me? Where was the exit? No! Can you imagine right now if I was playing on hardcore? Well, if I was playing on hardcore, uh, what did I lose? Whoa, did I get any actual things? I just saw like blueprints, right? It's like I have my welder, flashlight still there. Okay. I don't know what else I picked up that was important. I don't think it was anything. Oh, but my Seamoth is all the way over there. So that sucks. Where in the world? I think I had trouble with that exact same wreck before too figuring out where in the world the exit was. All right, well, I'll be right back once I get my Simith. All right, here we are. What up? I think I got everything in here, though. I don't think I need to go back down. Oh, wait, no, I could go back down. One, to figure out where in the world the exit was, but also, I think I could pick up my stuff, right? Oh, it was on the bottom. Crap. Yep. Whoa, that is a big... Did you see how big that titanium was? Silver. Okay, I'll use the silver. All right, perfect. I did not realize it was on the bottom. That would have, uh... I'm an idiot. All right. Let me just head back. All righty. Whoa, jeez, dude. <laughs> what is your purpose? What is your purpose in life? All right, we got a message. It's probably from Avery. Nope, it's not. Oh, what are you? Oh, hey. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. Oh, you assumed it, huh? The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Excellent. Coordinates corrupted. Oh. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Aw. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Uh, what could I do? I was going to make a stasis rifle, but I need a magnetite. Uh, where magnetite is, uh, in the, oh, it's in Jelly Shroom Caves, isn't it? Oh, no. I mean, it's not only there. I'm sure I can find it elsewhere. But it honestly isn't that important right now. What is important, uh, is, what's important? What are we doing right now? We certainly got to fix the Aurora. Is there anything else I can make? I feel like I need to make stuff, but I guess not. Habitat Builder might come in handy. Yeah, it's not needed right now. Let's go fix the Aurora. We got to take care of all the outside things first. Before we can even think about doing anything else. I don't have enough. I need to make, I need to get stuff. Hold on. There we go. We're all filled up. Uh, I think I collected too much stuff. Boy, I need a base soon, huh? There we go. Two batteries should do it. And I think we're ready. Uh, whoa, actually, no, wait. I like, I don't like how it doesn't tell me my charge. Let me scan myself too. So oh. scan complete. Foreign bacteria counters reached statistically significant levels. Whoa. No adverse effects detected. Be vigilant for symptoms. I will do that. Thank you. Charge 2% and zero. Get rid of those. Keep them there. We'll charge them later. All right. Now we're ready to go. Wish me luck because we're probably going to die. And let's see. <laughs> That's important. To the keep. Lights on. Lights off. Lights on. Oh. Uh, oh my god, this ship is so big. I actually really like the color over here. It looks good. The sounds reef back. Protect me, please. Oh, we got another message. I can't deal right now. <gasps> oh, it's a my pod. That's right. This one hangs upside down for some reason. Hello. All right. Creature decoy. And first aid kit. I will take it. Thank you. Hello? Oh, there you are. Okay, get back in. Wait, is there stuff? Is there a thing? It's too dark over here. Potential water, batteries, things we might need. Even power cells. Now that I have a Seamoth. Oh, dude, he's scary. You're scary. Uh, battery. Oh, dude. Ooh, 
It's a wreath back. Okay. I know you're over here. I know it's over here. There's all. Oh no! No 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 no! I especially don't Life want it to destroy in this oh. region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem uh -huh. if not contained within the next 24 hours. Well, that's not good. Good thing I'm over here right now. Uh, okay. I just got to get through this. I think we made it. I think we safely made it, guys. Nothing to worry about. Why were you guys freaking out? You just you just startled me for no reason. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my shadow. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. No, it's fine, dude. You just pretty much advised me that I need to fi Ow! That I need to fix this. Ow, my god. I'm gone. I'm gone, okay? Uh, that I need to fix this. And then you're telling me, hey, you should probably be careful about what- Oh, boy. <laughs> oh no, I needed the propulsion cannon, didn't I? I think I can make it without it. Oh my goodness! Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. Oh, well, that's fantastic. You're talking about the, the other thing, right? I sure hope you're not talking about these little crawly things. Oh my goodness, it's infected! Get out of my sight. You're a freak. I should have made a propulsion cannon. I should have done it. Ooh, fire extinguisher. I'm gonna need you. I forgot to give myself one. Holy crap. Uh, we don't have to put these out. It's not in our way. Hello. Wait, what is this? Exiting sleep mode. Loading voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology Officer you identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley. Install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone. I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Sensors recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweaked the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> drone, I know... His name's <clears throat> Albert now. Albert, I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion can be retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored. I take a spacewalk in my skivvies. <laughs> oh, the interaction between those two is just amazing. Give me that battery. Data terminal. Yeah, Altera launches the Aurora. Uh, phase gate announced for the Ariadne arm. Altera launches the Aurora. Okay, so that's some stuff that we can get into at a different time. Right now, it's kind of urgent. Been in PDA. Notes to self. Uh, so here we are finally in open space. We cross the galaxy to install a phase gate to send ships to mine resources to build more expensive ships. To install fancier phase gates, are we trying to exhaust the galaxy or just ourselves? Use birthday. All right, we have a code. Cargo bay is 1454. Yeah, see, this is the part where we probably need the propulsion cannon. Would need if we weren't IG mother f***ing P and can parkour his way up. Oh, so good, dude. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get blocked at some point <laughs> where I, I need it. I should do this legitimately, but you know what? I'm not wasting anyone's time. No, you know what? You know what? I'm going to go do it. I'm going to go make the propulsion cannon. I think it's important. I'm sorry to leave you guys hanging, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go do this right. Uh, is it safe to jump in this water? Is it? it I'm probably gonna die. Okay. Screw it. I'm gone. Hello, water! <gasps> oh my god, it's right there! No, 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 I did not see it right there. Holy crap! What is it doing? Is it stuck? Okay, let's hope and pray it's stuck and we can just get out of here. Right above it, right? Hello? Okay, I am going to run... <laughs> Goodbye. Dude, if that thing was there the whole time and I drove past that, I am going to flip. All right, he's stuck. He is very much stuck, and I'm happy about that. We're good. Let's get back home and make this propulsion cannon. Good lord. Okay. Now, the problem is. Oh, yeah, wait, we got a message. Hello? 
This is Life Pod 4. No! We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us. And I don't know how long <laughs> we're going to last. We're big close old to fish. the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal Thank you. <laughs> we got some big old fish. Oh, wait, it's just a wiring kit? A wiring kit and a battery. Wiring kit is two silver ore. I'm pretty sure I have that, right? There we go. Perfect. Propulsion cannon. That was easy enough. Now, now, now we can go back to the Aurora. <laughs> uh, okay. So, oh, it is stuck. For real, I thought it would, like, undespawn, and oh my goodness, I had no idea I was so close to it. That is so creepy. All right, well, I'm glad he's stuck. I'm sure if I reload the game, he'll he'll be back, but it's all right. Ah, <sighs> let's get out of here and, and do what we came to do now. Woo! Please don't eat my sea moth, though. Now that you're close to it, I know you're hungry, and you like to mess with people's stuff. Let's just not. All right. Put this to good use. What we were supposed to do is be like, bam! Oh, wait. Uh, actually, no, we weren't supposed to be like that. Supposed to be like, oh, yeah, move that. Mm. Oh, yeah, move that. Mm, good. And we're free. Yay. All right. So the code was, uh, hold on. I'm not going to check. Yes. Yes. I remember. Open up. God dang. I thought you would do it automatically, man. It's got to be dramatic. Give me the water. Nutrient block. See, I did not need to make any food. All right. The Aurora is pretty much done. It is gone. Ooh, let's go. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, box. Nutrient block. Dang it. I mean, that's just as good. It's fine. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> the smoke is just building up and leaking out, dude. That's crazy. Where there, there's bleeders down here. So I need to make sure I keep my knife on me. Alright. What do we got? Nutrient block. I will take. I think the uh I can hear the Reaper. <laughs> I think I can hear it from here, dude. Oh, it's so scary. Oh, so I can yeah, let me get my uh, repair tool out. All right, cool. Got that. Open it up. Perfect. And this should be... Oh, it's a sight. It's a Seamoth. Fragment, right? Yeah, I don't need that. What are you? VR Sweet Log. Uh, loading program data. Desert Island Drama. Size 3 players normal. Spawning players on beach. Player 1 has been washed away by an unusual high, unusually high tide. Uh, player 2 has traded a coconut with player 3 for 10 credits. Has planted a coconut. Players are getting hungry. Is growing a coconut tree. Blah, blah. Still hungry. Building a tent. Is sleeping inside her tent. It's cold. Night falls. Passing ship is offering trading. Trade 30 crests for a musket. Has been shot twice in the end. Oh, man. What happened? Player 2 wins. Player 2 died from cold and starvation. What in the world? Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. My Seamo. Is it already done? Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy right now. Dude. Now we can go a little bit deeper. Oh, we always need to go deeper. Hello? Another battery, dude. There's tons of batteries. That's the drive room. We don't need to go there just yet. I mean, that's the objective, but there's so much more to see. Like getting the prawn suit. We don't even have the Cyclops ready, dude. I would love to get that ready, too. I'm actually... I I'm, I think I'm realizing that as I'm playing this game, I'm doing it all out of order because I know what I'm supposed to... Oh, my goodness. Hey, buddy. Get off. No, stop it. Stop it. Okay. I know what I'm supposed to do, so I kind of skip over things, but the game pretty much does guide you. If you play it yourself, it does guide you and kind of give you hints on what you're supposed to do. Like getting that PDA talking about the propulsion cannon would lead you to believe you should probably get it and bring it because it will be useful. Hello. Auxiliary mission orders. This is the kind of stuff that we can read later on. Sweet offer. Wait, this is important, isn't it? Yeah, 1869. 1869. I'll try to remember that. First aid kit. Another freaking bat. Can you give me like a power cell or something like way more useful? Another battery. Another disinfected water. All right, so we're going up to the prawn bay, which behind the prawn bay will be... Uh-oh. I gotta repair this. Will be the living quarters. Let's go, babe. Can't fight fire without the fire extinguisher, dude. This is how we do it. All right, open door. Oh, yes. Heck yes. <laughs> of those things the prawn suit up a faint black box signature originating on the other side of the hull breach in this room of oh, the hull breach in this room oh right we should go there uh okay so i should scan these things would be important 
which we can't make just yet. We have a lot of things that we need to get first in order to make this work. But that's one out of four, so 50% now. Storage module! Dude! Wait, wasn't there one? There was one hidden. There was one hidden, I remember. Oh, they might have put it up there, though. Oh, excellent. Oh, excellent. Good, sir. Scan this. 75% done. Yes, okay. So we got the prawn suit. Blueprint. We are nowhere near building that thing. I will say that, though. We are nowhere near building that thing legitimately. All right, let me put this dang proposed cannon on. Get out of my way. You get out of my way. You get out of my way. Get out of my way. I'm gonna try to hit this prawn. Hold on. Hold on. Boop. Dang it, I missed. All right, living quarters. Okay, so it was 1869. Let me get my fire extinguisher out. <gasps> oh my goodness, the nutrient blocks. There's so much blocks. Wait, I can scan the filtered water? Wait, do I- do I really not- Oh! Wait a second! Is that to see if it's like infected or anything? Ooh, vending machine. Let's scan that. I'm out of a uh, fire extinguisher, so I can't put out the rest of this fire. So I'm just gonna have to burn to death. Sounds lovely. I like how they made the wall shelf to look like a bar. That's how I would have done it. Today's menu. Uh, space bear. Space bear. I wonder what that. Uh, a lot of these. A lot of the times, uh, game devs reference things, like from their old games. So I'm not very familiar with natural selection at all, uh, or anything else that they've done. So, if there's references to it, like a space bear, maybe? Oh, I'm full? You've got to be kidding me. All right, let me just eat a block. It's fine. Drink a water. Take a health kit, dude. You might as well. I have so many. Okay, cabin one might be the 1869. Yes. Perfect. Oh, we got a blue cap. Uh, abandoned PDA. Double bed. All right, there's no voice. I do like, uh, let's listen to a voice while we're doing this. Let's listen to 17. Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. It's actually kind of sad. Holy crap. Uh, okay, so I got the the Gorg toy. The Gorg, I think it's called the Gorg. This is definitely a reference to Natural Selection too. Dude, there are so many things to scan. It's ridiculous. Ugh. Okay. Cabin two can't go into Captain's quarters. Oh right. We're gonna have to go back here at some point. Oh, here we go. Cool. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? <laughs> it's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. Oh. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to what take am I a listening look at to? your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. Oh. This wow. is why I want to change our arrangement. Wow, dude. Wow. She called you out, ya dummy. Well, what was that? Seriously. <laughs> I didn't know you could find drama things. Okay, so I know there's a secret room. Secret room. Secret, secret room. Uh, it's back here, I think. Uh, I can't get past the fire because I don't have any, uh, you know, fire extinguisher. So, <laughs> I'm pretty much at a loss here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Hello, black box data. Integrating the shot. Uh, human uh, terminal and captain's quarters. Oh, wait. Altaria rescue solution received at T has eight hours to high priority terminal to captain's quarters. Oh, okay. So that's how it ties in. Okay. So I don't want to, I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, but now I finally understand how that ties in. I, I wasn't really, it, it wasn't too sure about how that would. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. What was in here? I don't remember. 
Uh, oh wait, it's probably in here though. Hold on. Hold on. This tells me the code, right? Lab access. <laughs> 643. I'm the best. You're going to make me die. Hurry up. Thank you. Oh, lab equipment. I would love that right now. What are you? What can we learn from the hive mind of straight? What? Which make up the hive mind to be category? A hive mind? Oh, uh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going to have to read that in a second because I'm going to die. Corruption was detected on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. Wait, what? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Hey, 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 hey. Surface? Yes. Oh, woo. I was actually not certain if there was a surface over here. Okay, cool. Uh, but what, wait, what did that mean? Let me go back to that. What did it say? A data bank corruption was detected in PDA. Your repulsion can blueprint has been resynchronized. Dude, that's sweet. What does that mean? Is that actually gameplay? Like, does that actually affect gameplay? You know what? I don't know. And I'm not questioning it, all right? We got it back. That's all that matters. Now, I'm coming in after I recorded this video because I realized by the end I didn't even bring it up again because I completely got sidetracked. But here it is, the data bank entry of what can we learn from the hive mind of Strader 6. How are the individuals which make up a hive mind to be categorized? They are merely dumb components of the larger intelligent organism, or is the larger mind merely a product of the independent organisms? Can it be both? We define organisms by their traits, but find invariably that these traits depend on those of the environment. The concept of a tadpole is meaningless without the concept of the frog it will develop into. The idea of a predator is empty without an understanding of its prey. This begs the question, if we define everything by reference to everything else, what have we actually explained? An illustrative experiment was recently performed on the hive mind colony discovered on Strader 6. A device was placed outside the nest which would electrocute individuals approaching it. An ant colony would have lost many individuals before a basic danger signal was successfully communicated between them, resulting in learned avoidance of the device successful but costly. The Strader 6 colony quickly formed into two factions. One attempted to move the device by brute force, sacrificing individuals as they did so. The second attempted to cover the device in sand. These two goals being mutually exclusive, a fight ensued. The first faction was beaten in virtue of their reduced numbers. The device was safely buried and the survivors called a truce. From the perspective of the individuals, this experience must have been horrific. From the perspective of the hive mind, a nagging problem had been overcome with the most effective solution. Which perspective is the correct one? We suggest that it is neither. By attempting to fit such entities into our rigid set of concepts, we are painting onto the world a false impression of concreteness and meaning, which is a reflection of our concepts of ourselves. We describe Strader 6 individuals as attacking one another, just as we describe microbes in the human body. Yet the Strader colony, like the body, cannot be healthy as a whole without the aggressions of its components. We describe neurons in the brain as being dumb, but brains as a whole as intelligent. But when an idea takes hold in the brain and forces out inferior ones, do we describe this as an act of aggression? Do we mourn dead neurons? When a philosophy or a technology takes hold in human society, when wars are fought over them and people die, is that rightly seen as being good or evil? This is not to undermine the meaning of our existence. From where we stand, our existence is very serious indeed. But is our civilization and our universe really any different from the colony on Strader 6? Is intelligence something limited to things of flesh and blood? Or is the universe truly one giant intelligent system, and we but amoeba blowing self-important potholes in its surface? We would do well as scientists to remember that our goal is not to paint the world as we see it, but to see it as it truly is. And that, my friends, is one beautiful piece of scripture. So, honestly, I was thinking that this was going to be something uh, a little bit more hardcore as far as, like, 
uh, you know, backstory and whatnot, the hive mind, but I, it, it makes more sense now. And again, it is kind of backstory and it does kind of paint a good picture. It's not exactly as I thought that does not take away the beauty of it. Anyway, I, I wanted to cut this in because I, I, I'm an idiot when I was playing and I totally forgot to show it to you guys. So enjoy the rest of the video. Oh no, see, there's a freaking, there's a freaking, mm, there's a thing over here. I can't seem to get up though. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so we could just run through this. And I'm gonna do it! Run through! Oh! Yay! Okay. See, this is my problem last time. I didn't have the propulsion cannon to be able to do this! Alright, I could just get over it. Well, I, don't, I literally have no idea why I was doing that. Whoa! The, ow! My goodness! Hang on a second! I need to try to... Okay. Leave me alone. Oh my god! You jumped up here, you crazy fool! That's kind of nice. I actually forgot this was here. Uh, so we didn't do the drive core thing. I actually need to do that. So, and run through into the water. All right. So that was in the secret room, which I can now leave, I guess. So we are going to eventually have to come back here for the captain's quarters. But for now, let's head back to the drive room. I really do. And you guys, if you don't know, uh, exploring the Aurora, you saw how big the ship was. We can't actually explore that much. Unfortunately, I wish we could. I really wish it was a thing, but there isn't, unfortunately. I mean, most of it got destroyed, and that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Yes! Yes! Do not attempt repair without appropriate All right. Okay, now we got it. Well, let's get our uh, repair tool out. We're at 80%. We should be good to go. And fix. And this is what we do we sit around here and we fix stuff. We repair with our repair tool, and the whole ship just goes, hmm. I'll behave. Wait, I can scan this? I can scan the breach? What is it? What does that even mean? The Aurora's drive core is shielded by a thick metal shell, which breached in multiple locations shortly after the crash. Once breached, it will continue to leak radiation into the surrounding environment until the breaches are sealed. After that point, the radiation in the environment will dis- Oh! Get the- Get off me, dude. Uh, after that point, the radiation in the environment will dissipate over time. This procedure should only be attempted with appropriate radiation protection and a fully charged repair tool. Oh my goodness. God. Are you kidding me? Or how are you still alive? You, come here. I'm gonna bash you against the- Oh my god, I'm getting swarmed! Stop it! Holy crap, what am I supposed to do against that? I'm supposed to do against that kind of power. Oh my god! I got it, okay, it's fine. Jeez. Ah, ooh, an achievement! Let's go! Oh, yeah. Drive core breach sealed. Radiation levels did Yeah. Yeah! Let's go! The Aurora is fixed now. No more radiation, no more mutated creatures. Or whatever adverse effects would have happened to these beautiful things around this Aurora. Of course, they are disgusting things that will eat me in a second if I let them, so... You know, I'm kind of indifferent, but I feel good about it. All right, well, I feel good about that. Uh, and oh, god dang it. Holy crap, I got a lot of stuff. Um, uh, Cyclops engine. Okay, that's... We don't have the Cyclops unlocked at all. We need a lot of stuff. Anyway, but now I can put these upgrades, like the storage module, which is going to be nice, because now I can uh, have some extra space with me when I take my nice little Seamoth with me. I went the long way. I could have went the short way. And it's dark outside, of course. No, it needs to be. It absolutely needs to be. All right, so I know better than to dive down into the water. Uh, Reaper's just sitting right there. Are you still stuck down there, good sir? Yes, you are. Okay, well, while you're sitting there, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna put these upgrades in my Simith upgrades. Hello? Okay. Jesus, I hate my life, dude. Okay, put it in. Wait, that's not right. No, I dropped it. Oh, what am I, stupid? Put it on. Yes, 300 meters. Let's go, dude. Let's freaking go. Yeah, you stay down there. All right. Well, I think I'm at a good point where I'm going to pause it. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section below all your tips and suggestions uh, and what you liked about the episode. Of course, I can't immediately, uh, you know, react to them as in the next episode. I may not do what you suggest because, again, once again, these videos are pre-recorded due to me wanting to spend time with the babies. Anyway, still leave the comments. I love talking it up and I will be replying to comments in general. So I will be around if you guys want to talk. So thanks again for watching. I love you all and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.